Good morning, everybody. I am back today with another journal, and this is my November Design Team journal for Tsunami Rose Designs. Um, this, I used the Life of Bloom journal kit as kind of my base, and then it is chock full of other bits and pieces of ephemera packs, um, different journal kits of hers, uh, decoupage flowers of hers. It's just a whole mix of different, different things from Tsunami Rose Designs. Um, and before I forget, I need to tell you guys, she has lowered her prices on all of her digis to $250, like, permanently. Um, she had had sales all summer, and buy two, get two free, and then she decided, well, I'm just gonna lower them all to 250 so it's a fantastic deal you guys should go over there and check her out on Etsy I'll have all of the links uh, <clears throat> listed down below um so yeah to get in the journal I used a book cover and I just painted it um, did some distressing and added this little bit of trim lace here uh, it has five signatures um, and about a hundred and over 120 pages in here um so it's a chunky monkey because i can't seem to make them any other way so this kind of has a vintage floral theme to it um the cover paper is not um one of the tsunami rose designs it's oh boy i can't remember what paper stack that came from now i apologize for that um yeah. Um, anyways, we'll go ahead and get into it. Um, I did some sewing on some of the journal cards this time that I haven't done before. Um, and it made me realize I need a new sewing machine because the one I have is not very good and it was very frustrating. But anywho. Um, these here... I have a couple sets of these throughout the books. They're, I want to say, part of her Big Elements journaling cards. And um, they're supposed to be like a, a cream color, but I printed them on colored cardstock and then inked them and distressed them. So the kind of color theme for this journal is green, pink, and brown. And I really. I like and I like how it turned out. Uh, this is one of the Life of Bloom pages. The um, journal kit pages I distressed on the sides and inked as well. And then it's got lots of coffee dyed pages. I left lots of room for journaling in this. Um. And then I've just got a glassine bag pocket here with a tag, silk flowers, a tag on the back just has some hearts and, and a flower attached with a safety pin. <clears throat> this little organza bag, I got this idea from Beth Wallen. I know I've seen a few other people using this idea in their journals as well. I think it's just really sweet. Center signature is just an envelope. Nothing in it right now. Tsunami Rose. This is ephemera. I shrunk this down. It's supposed to be like a full size. And I shrunk it down for just a little journaling card. This is one of her tags, her shipping tags. And I just topped it with some fiber. Envelope flip out with another journaling card. Some of them I just left plain blank and white. A 
Let's see, there's a journaling card behind it in this little pocket. And then this, I actually was fixing a boo-boo because when I taped or uh, glued this in, I kind of punched through the paper. And so we had to cover it with some washi and some lace. And, you know, we all have to come up with our <laughs> ways to fix our boo-boos that inevitably end up happening. I love the way this coffee staining turned out. I don't know how or why that reaction happened, but I just love it. And all the laces that I used in this came actually from either Hobby Lobby or some, these one, this one here I found it Tuesday morning. Another pocket here, and she's got these envelope sets that are really cute, and they come with journaling cards to match. So I've got a couple of those in here. And this is another one of those sets of journaling cards here. I did a few of the altered paper bags um, that everyone's kind of on this craze doing the, the loaded paper bags and loaded envelopes for swaps, and I think they're fantastic. Um, sorry, I'm having to drink some coffee this morning. <laughs> Still trying to get going. So I included a couple of those in the journal, and just has a little journaling card in there. And one of her little envelopes with a journaling card. And this is again from the Life of Bloom set. And I don't have anything in the large pockets. And then just some pearl trim that I got from Hobby Lobby. Another envelope pocket with some more ephemera. And a tag. And my tags I just have topped with ribbons and tool. And some some of them have fibers. Another little journaling card. So yeah, like I said, there's lots of room to journal. This here is an envelope that I made out of. It's actually the baking parchment paper that I bake my coffee stain pages on top of because a few of the the pans that I use have textures on them that I don't want on my my coffee dyed pages so I put a layer a couple of layers of parchment baking baking parchment paper underneath them and so they absorb a bunch of the the coffee dye and so I've got sheets and sheets of them so I decided to turn it into a little envelope and put some of the decoupage flowers on there and I got this idea actually from one of Angie Bunner's journals that she had sent I can't remember if it was to Beth Wallen or to Denise Sayas um, but she had taken apart a glassine bag and made a glassine envelope and so that's what kind of gave me the idea for for this and then just have another little tag more decoupage flowers one of her big element journaling cards. This here's a little tuck spot. Little book page um, envelope. There's nothing inside of it, and then just has some ribbon on it. And this is one of her from one of her ephemera packs. Um, this is a little paper bag lunch bag paper bag that I turned into kind of a pocket page in here and I just have this little book page booklet that I sewed one of these images on um, I might add a few sheets of coffee dyed paper in there and make it like a little journaling booklet and then I just have a pocket on this side with another one of her envelope and journal tags 
with some fibers. There's tons of pockets in this journal. Um, this again is that baking parchment that I just used for a center um, signature pocket page and has another of the Tsunami Rose envelope sets with the journaling cards on the inside. Another little journaling card. And inside there's another. And then this is a little doily tuck spot on this side as well. Another fold out journaling page and another organza bag and I just put some ribbon and tied a bow on there for decoration. And another one of the shipping tags. This is actually from one of the Christmas sets and I just absolutely love, 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 love this paper. Got some trim here and silk flower button fiber and another of the Big Elements journaling cards. These are both tuck spots here with the decoupage flowers. Pocket. Um, this is another envelope pocket page. Um, this has more of the parchment paper in the back and it's just a little pocket and I got this idea from Nicole B on YouTube she's got some great journals and then there's tuck spot here and then the large pocket there as well Um, this is an envelope that opens up and I left it so that you could kind of journal in it and do some secret journaling. And then on the back side just have this image of sweet little girl and a decoupage flower. And these are all tsunami rose as well. Sorry if you can hear the washer and dryer in the background. I'm down in the basement right now and got laundry going. Um, more of these and I really like how they turned out printing them on, on colored cardstock. That's kind of a turned out neat. Another of the paper bag pockets. Um, just some lace, some paper flowers and fibers. And some of the journaling cards I backed with coffee dyed paper and then did some stitching and sewing. A little tuck spot with an envelope. This is also Tsunami Rose. More ledger paper. Um, this is a tuck spot behind here and this has just been stitched on with some parchment paper behind it and then the book page obviously. And some of these flowers I did coffee dye. There's some, some white ones and some pink ones that I coffee dyed to make them look a little more aged and vintage. I have some homemade enamel dots in here as well for some of the flower centers. That's a pocket as well. Tuck spot with the banners. I had to stop adding things to this because it was getting a little too chunky. I cannot seem to make a journal that is not that way. Another glassine bag that's been coffee dyed and these um, are actually um, more of the full size that I shrunk down and backed onto coffee dyed paper and then stitched them on. Uh, 
Uh, just a little pocket I made with more of the parchment paper that I stitched. I did some reinforcing with some fabric tape and washi tape on um, some of the center signature pockets. Um, so more of these in here. This is eyelet lace that I got from Tuesday morning. And pocket there. here. More journaling cards that have been stitched and back with coffee dyed paper. And then I just embellished the coffee dyed back here with some more lace and some layers of some flowers and a button. This is a little coffee, or not coffee dyed, but um book page envelope that's also a pocket and back. And that, that is it. That'll do it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope everyone has a wonderful and happy Thanksgiving. Um, again, I will put all of the links below for the Tsunami Rose Etsy shop and all the different ways you can find her and contact her on Facebook and so on. Um, just a reminder, she did lower her prices to $250 for all of her kits. So there are some great, great buys that you guys should go check out. And... Um, yeah, thanks again, and have a great happy Thanksgiving. Bye, guys.